Yo, what's up, my Pocket Pickers? It's your boy, World's Pocket Picker, and today I'm in Cardiff. I come over to uh, meet up with someone. I'm picking up a bundle of Pokemon bits off Facebook Marketplace <coughs> for £40. It's been a while since I found any Pokemon stuff in the wild on Facebook. And also, as well, I've managed to uh, sell one of the GameCube games for about £20. So I'm meeting up with, uh, with the person, and uh, hopefully, with some luck. Wow guys, that was very quick. Literally, I just came out of the Forbidden Planet, as you can tell, Forbidden Planet. And this is the pickup. Look at that. For £40, there's loads in there. Uh, I will probably show more of it in the Poker Cave. So the game I've just sold is this one. If you guys remember, I picked up that bundle of uh, GameCube games from Ponty. Well, that's now free because it, I've obviously taken the costs from selling something on eBay. But I managed to sell out for £20. Uh, it won't be long, I'll be meeting up with a person. So, cheers for that purchase. Here we are, guys. Result £20 for that game. Happy days. <laughs> Right guys, now I'm going to catch one of the buses now down to Albany Road to go to the charity shop. Let's see what we can find in Albany Road. Right guys, we just got off that bus now. We're now in Albany Road. It's been a while since the last time I've been here. So the first charity shop I got last time is the 10 of us one. Let's have a look inside. So the next charity shop we're going to now is, I, I can't remember now, is the RSPCA. Let's have a look what they got. Mr. Me Seeks. Worth picking up. I'll have a look. Look. FIFA. FIFA. <laughs> Guys, I just opened this one. <laughs> it's the wrong game. Oh well. Oh, guys, I was absolutely gutting on that game. Oh. Right, next one, I'm going towards the British Heart Foundation. Cross fingers, let's see if we've got any luck. Oh, come on, Albany Road, give me something, like... Uh, have a look at this one.
Well, guys, I picked up that game for 150 because I thought even when it's free, then I could get two pound voucher out for trade, not much. But uh, while I was uh, ready to pay, someone just recognised me for the first time. I've uh, never had that before. <laughs> Cheers, mate. It was nice seeing you. So the next shop now we're going to now is the the British Red Cross, which is well, I have to cross the road just to get to it. Oh, I finally managed to cross the road. Now we're going into the scope. Let's look at it. Guys, look at this. We are sports. We sports resort. I hope the disc is in really good nick. I'm gonna double check it. That's got trade for the guys for the CEX. Guys, just opened it. And ta-da! It's clean. Definitely pick that up. Real quick. Wow guys, I can't believe that. Wii Sports Resort for a pound. It's a couple of quids worth in CEX. I'm going to the Bernardos. I did ask them if they had any more games, but they said someone goes to them first. Seven foot. That's cool, that is. Assassin's Creed. Eight quid. So we also got this one there as well. That's cool. Guys, I've now decided to come and grab some tweet. Um, a bit of grub. I'm starving. What's happening, guys? Now we're back in the pub cave, and just to let you guys know, I've swapped the the, pe the fellas bag and give me with all the stuff. I put into one of my new bags. I'm gonna use my Pokemon Center bags. Um, I think they were like, uh, oh, I 
I can't remember how much they were now. They was like 20 odd quid. I will put the price on how much it cost and take it out the Poke Fund. But I put the bits uh, on there, so let's have a look what we've got. That's a plane. I want to get on it now. <laughs> so the first item we've got is the Spilled Bear Vulpix. And I was quite shocked. Oh, my hair's a bit fuzzy. It does have a voice. Now, I was going to think of reselling this to get some uh, get some of the money back, but because I had £20 back from uh, the, the game, so everything still cost 20 but to be honest with you, now I know it's got a voice that's a bit attached to it, so this is a keeper. And there's more plushies as it is. We've got a sleeping cinder quill, a dragonite, the, that's one of the pokey dolls eyes. We've got two Pikachu plushies, Lucario, it's another Poke Doll one. Woobat, which I don't think I have. Uh, Cinderquill. Now, a couple of them. And um, oh, there's also this like Pokemon, Pokeball, like with a zip thing. I, I don't know. I, and there's Pokemon hat. Now, I'm trying to avoid hats because, hence, I've got a haircut. Uh, but them small bits for there, I'm going to give to a good friend uh, who is local to me and his little boy collects Pokemon because I don't want to try and get loads of uh, Mon plushes but they're going to be going to another good home so and I'm not going to charge him, uh, he'll probably just give me a couple of pints behind the bar. <laughs> but the only reason I wanted this bundle uh, was because of these three uh, Pokemon plushes which I haven't got and they're talking ones as well. And there's some clothing as well that are brilliant. So the first one we got is uh, Oshawa. I did have one of these. Oh, give me in free. I did have one of these, but uh, the bugger didn't have the, the battery pack. So I gave that to one of the boys for his little bit. Uh, this one does kind of work. That doesn't... I've never heard of an Oshawa sound like that before. But I'm thinking it sounds a bit Japanese, if I'm wrong. Might be wrong. And we've got Snivy. Which I don't know if this is on. <laughs> yeah, this needs new batteries. I will probably get like a small clip of them working once I get new batteries in them. Yeah, they need new batteries, but I will probably put a clip. So, they're the reason I wanted them, and they're from... They're the Tommy ones, I think they're from, like... From when they were, came out in black and white. Shut up, Oshawa. Right. I'll show you the cloak. So the first piece of clothing is this hoodie with, and that bloody thing still going off, is the Apsol. So let's try this bad boy on, see what it's like. And what do you know guys, it's a perfect fit. I absolutely love it. And also as well, in that bundle, I had this t-shirt, which I'm hoping will fit. Is this Umbreon t-shirt, so I'm going to try to take this off and give this bad boy a try. And what do you know guys? It's a perfect fit. Umbreon. I do like Umbreon. Uh, I would say more than Espeon. <sighs> Bloody hell that. And also as well guys, we got a small eBay sale. So let's show you what um, we sold. And guys, I've just managed to sell something yesterday. <clears throat> On eBay yesterday, uh, which was Friday. This Schleich uh, horse, it sold for, I think it was £2.85, I think it was, I can't recall, uh, plus postage, so that's not bad, and then I'll send it off Monday, so a little bit of money. So yeah guys, that was uh, me on Thursday with the pickups, and 
for the pickups and the small eBay sale which was on Friday. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Enjoy this video. <laughs> like always, make sure to Earthquake, Thunder Punch, Bubble Beam, whatever you want to do, this subscribe button. You're always welcome. Also, drop a comment down below what you thought about the, the pickups. Uh, <laughs> I'm Billy Boy, Welsh Pocket Picker. Peace.